Hey everyone, this is Wendy from Wendy's Parade. Thank you very much for joining me um, and watching my review. I do appreciate anyone that takes to time, the time to listen. I know there's like a million perfume blogs out there nowadays, so I'm just really grateful for anyone that would like to listen to my take on the perfume we're reviewing today, which is from 2020. It is from Guerlain. It is a flanker to the queen, the queen being Shalimar. And they came out with a perfume called Shalimar Filter de Parfum. Um, filter being P-H-I-L-T-R-E being, you know, a, a magic concoction, a brew that you hand to someone and they drink it and then they fall like madly in lust with you. I don't know. I kind of read all the, the the articles and the hype on Fragrantica about this one coming out, and I definitely had, you know, an expectations versus reality situation. I thought that this was going to be really dark and strong and kind of carnal. Um, they talked about adding a lot of tolu balsam, like green forested notes and patchouli, and boosting the iris to the old structure of the ex existing Shalimar. And I don't know why I thought that they were gonna go back in time and take Shalimar the way she should be, like in pure concentration and add to it. That is not the case. Um, so when you look at the notes, they do have a kind of typical progression for Shalimar being a citrus top, a floral middle, and a resinous base along with tons and tons and tons of vanilla because what is a Guerlain perfume that doesn't have vanilla in it? That's just what they do. The, so from the cap, this definitely, and I don't have a bottle to flash everyone because I only have a decant. This has been very hard to find in the US. From the bottle, this smells extremely lemony, like lemon rind, fresh lemon, like squirted in your face lemon with um, a hint of like a makeup iris running through it. On the skin, that's exactly what happens. It's really bright, really refreshing, not so much bergamot as lemon, I think. And it's relatively short-lived. It gets right into the heart right away. Now the heart notes are lavender, rose, and iris. Ephesus being on lavender. If anything, this perfume is very, very, very powdery. Um, actually, they could have called it like Shalimar Poudre or something like that. I mean, the, ir the iris is there. It's starched. It's interweaved with a little tiny bit of jasmine. But mostly what is there is lavender. And the lavender, it's not there to be like a masculine herbal green lavender. It is there to be a rinsed out, and I mean this in the nicest possible way, a, a rinsed out like fabric softener lavender, i.e. just meaning to give... I'll just add a lot of powder. It's just really powdery. And that's mostly what I smell and like the, as it starts to dry down is this incredible amount of powder. Now, uh, powdery lavender may remind you of another perfume for Guerlain, um, the Mont Guerlain. Uh, this could be like a cousin, but it doesn't really smell like it because it has a different character. But but it's there's there's a relation. Maybe they even use the same kind of lavender in there. I don't know. As it dries down even further, um, you kind of take the iris intertwined with the lavender and a hint of jasmine. I don't even smell any rose. I don't smell roses at all. And it gets a lot more vanillic. Now, the vanillic is kind of hiding in the background the entire time because, like I said, it's Guerlain. It's going to smell like vanilla. So it's going to kind of back down a little bit and go into a much more like vanillic powder versus a lavender powder. And it is really nice. It it reminds me, and it could be because it's it's Michigan in the winter, but it reminds me of like the snow. It kind of reminds me of like a soft, quiet, snowy vanilla. I mean, they could have called this perfume along with maybe Shalimar Poudre Neige, like powdered snow or, or just something kind of pretty like that, where you have like a nice little snowy forest fairy and she lives in the pine trees and I don't know, smells like vanilla and hangs out in the snow. But that's pretty much what it is. The bottom does turn into like a white woods, a white vanilla woods. Um, the lavender's pretty much gone by this time. Ob obviously, the citruses are gone. They were just in the heart, the top notes. And that's kind of what it dries down to is a warm, a warmish vanilla woods. Very easy to wear. I think that if someone were to smell this on you from afar, that's what they would smell is a lot of just like vanilla powder and that's that's pretty much it this is not in my opinion challenging i don't really know 
why this had to ride on Shalimar's coattails. A lot of the flankers, and I like the flankers. I like Parfum Initial. I like Uda Shalimar. I like all of them a lot. I like um, the new Shalimar cologne they made. But this one especially is so far removed from actual Shalimar. Like, I don't really know why they bothered. I mean, I get, I get it. There's vanilla. Shalimar has vanilla, but... I don't know. It's it's a nice perfume. I was hoping for something a little more darker, um, a little more like Shalimar goes into the forest, you know, that sort of thing. So that's that's on me for having expectations that, you know, you know, you like to daydream about what perfume smells like and then you and then you smell it just like anything else that comes out that you haven't tried yet. So I do like this. Um, this may completely wear this may wear a lot differently in the in the summer than it does in the winter. I think this is easy to wear. I think that it's a crowd pleaser. I think that if you don't like the original Shalimar because because of the leather and the incense and you know and you think that it smells like a you know too old fashioned and too vintage, that's not this is not the case. I don't think unless powdery perfumes aren't your thing. So yeah, I really, I don't know why it's called Shalimar filter. I don't really think it's that sexy. I don't think it's gonna, it's not really risque. It's well done. It's Guerlain. It's well done. It's well executed. It smells really, really good. Does it make me feel like, oh my God, I love this. This is my new best friend and I'm gonna, no, no, not really. I'm only gonna probably buy a bottle of it just because it's Guerlain and I, I just like Guerlain. But other than that, that's pretty much my review. Short, Another short and sweet, I guess. I don't have a ton to say about it. Um, and if anyone has smelled this or is interested, please leave a comment, question. Hara no, don't harass me. I, if anyone sends me more porn links, I'm going to have to re like get rid of them all. But um, anyway, I hope everyone's having a great day. Happy New Year to everybody. I have to work tomorrow, so I'm going to bed early personally. And uh, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.